Hello, and welcome back to our Pokemon Showdown team building. Today, we are building a team around the legendary Garchomp. This thing may as well be legendary. This, this dragon right here is one of the most flexible Pokemon in the OU tier, and we are just going to jump straight into it. However, we aren't going to jump into it with a set in mind. Normally, I have a set in mind. I'm like, you know what? We're going to be doing, like, Choice Specs Typhlosion. Normally, I know what we're going to be doing. Choice Specs Explosion was last week. If you missed that, go check it out. That was great. Um, this week, however, Garchomp's so flexible in what it can do, like Scarf, Lumberry, you can run it banded, you can run, like, Swords Dance sets, you can run just pure offense sets. It gets a hell of a lot of coverage. If you really wanted to, you can run it defensive with Rocky Helmet. So, we're going to leave its options open. We are definitely going to be running Earthquake on it, that's guaranteed. We're probably going to be running Outrage, because I want an offensive set, not a defensive set. We're not going to be running Rocky Helmet. And odds are... Yeah, we're going to leave it just at that for now, and we're going to build our core around this Pokemon first. This is just my personal preference of how I want to build a team around Garchomp. And I feel like Garchomp's main weakness is obviously Ice. As long as we pick up an Ice weakness in one of our cores, we shouldn't have too much of an issue. However, it's also weak to Fairy, so I would like to pick up a Steel-type. It is also weak to Dragon. So, Steel pulls out all of its weaknesses, which makes me think Fairy Fawn is pretty much the perfect pick for it, because you compare this with a Specially Defensive War-type, and you are pretty much good to go. Because the Specially Defensive War-type would deal with the Ice-type weakness Garchomp has, and the Fire weakness that Fairy Fawn has, the only thing you'd have to worry about is the possible slight fighting weakness you've got overall, but that can easily be fixed later on. So we're going to take Ferrothorn, we're going to give it the Rocky Helmet, because this Pokemon is broken in my opinion. This thing's just way too good. It feels way too good. So we'll give it Leaf Seed. We will give it Gyro Ball. I think that's more powerful than Iron Head when it has no IVs and everything. I'm pretty sure. Against the majority of Pokemon anyway. Um, we will also give it... Do we give it Stealth Rocks? Ooh. We're also going to give it Stealth Rocks. And finally, I guess we should give it Power Whip, just so it has a Grass-type move. It's a little bit stronger than Seed Bomb. Power Whip or Seed Bomb, that's what it comes down to. Um, Seed Bomb can't miss, which is an incredibly nice thing to have. However, Power Whip is an extra 50% power. So do I want to hit 50%? Hitting 50% harder for a 15% accuracy loss, you know what, that seems worth it, we're doing it. And you are obviously going to be defensive. That EV spread looks just fine, you've already lowered the speed for us. Thank you, Showdown, you are doing great things. And Ferrothorn, what do we call Ferrothorn? We call Ferrothorn Punchbag, because that's essentially what it is. That feels like a Wobbuffet name, I know, but it's what it is. And your shiny is pink, yeah, we're doing it, we're having that shiny. Now, especially defensive water type. Um, we have Manaphy, which is NOU. Manaphy is not the best, in my opinion. It works well with Rest, Rain Dance, that sort of thing, but that's not what we're looking for. Um, Volcanion. Um, <laughs> sadly, your special defense is terrible. I want to use a Volcanion at some point. It has such a strange stat base. Not the stat base, I mean, like, just strange stats overall. Like, why... Why this? This just looks weird to me. Anyway, that's not the Pokemon we're talking about. We do not need to talk about that. Um, we are looking for a specially defensive water type. And coming down to OU, coming down to UU, not OU, my bad, might not be that bad of an idea. Because I know there's some pretty good water types, like we've got Empoleon. But that'd be more fighting weakness. We don't want to pick up that. Uh, we could pick up Milotic, which is looking pretty good. It's got a really nice base special defense. It can retaliate quite hard with base 100 special attack. Plus, we could give it competitive. Um, is there anything else? We could also take Suicune, which has a little bit more bulk on the defensive side. But our defensive side's fine, so I think we're just going to take Milotic wherever it was. And we're going to give this the leftovers. We are going to give it competitive. So, if a Pokemon comes in like Landorus, for example, and goes to intimidate us, we are going to have our special attack doubled. And that is going to be nice. So you're going to have a couple of offensive moves. We'll give you Scald and Ice Beam. Those two are pretty much all you're going to need. That won't allow you to hit other water types, but I mean, we'll have Toxic to deal with those. 
And finally, I think you get recover. Yep, we're gonna give you recover. And you're not being defensive. No. You're not gonna go with the recommended set for once. And also, it's giving you 252 HP, when actually I think I would prefer having 393. Does recover- that would recover one more though. Do we want that one extra damage of Stealth Rocks, or do we want that one extra HP recovery with Recover? I think we'll keep the extra one HP from Recovery. And your shiny is... Hmm... I... I quite like it. I like the gold tail, but also I like it standard, so I think we're gonna keep you standard, and we're just gonna call you Crystal. And that looks good. So, overall, we have an Ice Resistance, we have an Ice Weakness, we have Crystal, who is weak to Grass and Electric, Electric Resistance in both, and a massive Grass Resistance in Ferrothorn, Fire Resistances all around. The only weakness we really picked up here is Fighting, so as long as we pick up something that resists Fighting in the other three Pokemon, we should be looking just fine. Now then, we have incredibly strong Physical Attacker that can do pretty much anything. We have defensive, we have specially defensive. I would like something specially defensive, not specially defensive, specially offensive, that resists fighting. And I would like a mega. I'm already feeling me like Mega Gardevoir fits into all of those, but we'll keep looking. We have Alakazam, who is way too frail. Way too frail, has no base HP. It's fast, it's strong, sure, but I mean, Alakazam just better of a focus dash in my opinion. Uh, we have Pedro, which does resist the fighting, but that's weak. We have Mega Gallade, but I want special. Actually, yeah, Mega Beedrill's not special, what am I on about? Uh, we have Mega Guard of War, which, you know what, we're doing it. We're just taking Mega Guard of War. And you are going to have a Code Geass reference right in your name. It's going to be great. You can have Trace as your standard ability in case we can, like, trace something weird, like adaptability or something. I don't really know what we could trace. If we could trace, like, speed boost, that could be fun. Um, the chance of that happening is ridiculously low, but if it does, you know, it's gonna be great. Uh, we will give you Hyper Voice, because when you Mega Evolve, you become very powerful with that. We will give you Psy Shock, because you can hit things on both sides, and it's stab. We will give you... I think we're gonna give you Energy Ball? This move is a little bit more personal preference. If you want to run Thunderbolt, you can, but I think I'm going to run Energy Ball, because Quagsire has recently moved up to OU. There's still a chance of seeing, like, Mega Swampert. We could see Seismitoad, maybe. You never know. And I would rather have Energy Ball for those scenarios. So we'll take that. And finally, we will give you Calm Mind. On the pure off chance that we managed to get any kind of stat boost onto a Mega Gardevoir, say like we outspeed everything, then a Calm Mind being set up will be perfect. Perfect in every single way. So with that being said, our team is looking pretty good so far. So we have picked up a tiny bit of, I'd say overall we're weaker to ice more than we resist it. Our fighting weakness is pretty much gone. You know, I, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I kind of just want something that can break through walls. Because OU has changed a little bit. Now, OU is a lot more annoying than it used to be. Like, we have Hippowdon. We have Gliscor. We have Ferrothorn. We have Clefable. We have Amoongus. We have Chansey. Okay, are you picking up what I'm, what I'm saying? Basically, there is Stall. Every single Pokemon here is now Stall. We have Sableye. We have Slowbro. We have Skarmory. All of these Pokemon can Stall. So, we're going to take a Pokemon that I know for a fact breaks through walls stupidly easily. We're gonna take a Choice Banded Staraptor. We're doing it. And as the Staraptor is Choice Banded, I feel like we'd be better off with Garchomp being Choice Scarf. So we're gonna put Choice... We're gonna, we're gonna do it. We're gonna go with Choice Scarf Garchomp. We're gonna go with Rough Skin. We are gonna give you... I'd say Iron Head is a little bit more effective against Fairies than Poison Jab, because Iron Head can also hit Ice types which is a major weakness that Garchomp has, whereas Poison Jab can also hit, like, Grass types. But that's not great. I'd rather have Iron Head, I think. And for a final move, we should have... Um, I want Rock Slide. Where's Rock Slide? Rock Slide, please. There we go. Okay, so that makes your set done. 
Now, Star Raptor, your set's pretty standard. You can have Double Edge, you can have Brave Bird, because they benefit from Reckless and will have like an extra 20% uh, strength. We will also run Close Combat. And now for the final move, we can either run U-Turn, which would make the most sense, but we could also run Quick Attack if we want priority. We could run Quick Attack for priority. We could also run Pursuit, like fake someone out and Pursuit Trap them, but I think we're just gonna run U-Turn. I feel like that should be just fine. And your name is Starbound, because I've been calling you Starbound to like every playthrough I've been doing lately. So we may as well stick to that name. And you're shiny, you have like, you have like a blue shiny, don't you? Yeah, you have a blue. You know, I think we're not gonna go shiny. The only shiny so far is Ferrothorn, but that's fine. And we have a very fast offensive team. Excluding like Ferrothorn and Myotic, but they're a cause, so that makes sense. I would like something with a little bit of switch initiative. I would like something with Volt Switch, specifically. I would also like... Oh, what, what do we want with Volt Switch? I think I'd want an electric type. That's the kind of type I'm looking at, because we resist ground overall. We have no weaknesses to ground. We have a flying type. We have a little bit of an ice weakness. So, something of Volt Switch that resists ice. Oh, I can think of one thing. I can think of one thing. This little cancerous piece of OU scum right here. Roto and Wash. You know what? You're, you, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna call you OU scum. That's exactly what you are. I hate this Pokemon, but. It fits. It fits with the team, and I would be stupid not to use it. And I can't type Citrus for some reason. It's gonna have a Citrus Berry. It's gonna have Bolt Switch. This can also tech the Will-O-Wisp, so it's also gonna be there for a little bit of tech. Say, like, there's a setup. Weakness Policy Dragonite, because I've been an idiot. This can kind of give us a little bit of a chance back into it. Um, we will also give you the Hydro Pump, because obviously we want the Water Stab. And finally, we will take... Now, we could take, like, Toxic and go for just pure noise. We could take, like, Thunder Wave, so we have, like, all of the utility on this thing. We could take so many different things right now. We could take Hex. We could double the power of Hex if we really wanted to. But I think we're just going to take Thunderbolt. We, we get so walled out by, like, Dragon types, and oh, that, that gets us way too walled out. Um... I think we might also tech foul play. I don't know. We could tech a lot of things right now. We could tech the hidden power fire. No one would expect hidden power fire on a Rotom. Not a single person in the world would expect hidden power fire from a Rotom. I'm I'm gonna take you know we're taking it we're taking hidden power fire on the Rotom because normally something like Ferrothorn would just wall out Rotom so we're gonna do that and we're gonna make you especially offensive and we are also gonna give you HP investment to 248 and we're gonna give you four points to each of your defenses which looks like a really weird set I know but this this is what we're gonna run we're gonna run this kind of Rotom wash Rotom wash can do pretty much anything. Um, so, overall, is there any changes I feel need to be made? We have a Choice Scarf Garchomp, which is fine in itself, that Pokemon is completely fine, that needs no changes. Rocky Helmet Ferrothorn, that is just fine. We don't have too much fire moves for like Scizor and Ferrothorn, other than our Rotom Wash. But Rotom Wash can wall out Scizor pretty easily. Ferrothorn, on the other hand, we would have to possibly sacrifice something, but I mean, we can deal with that with a close combat from Starbound if we have to. Or we could maybe deal with it with like an Ice Beam from Crystal if it comes to it. It's neutral to Earthquake from Garchomp. I feel like we have ways around it. So I think that is going to be the team. Is the team valid? This is a button I forget to click all the time. The amount of times I've gone into a battle without clicking this, just click the button. It's worth clicking it. So I think that is actually going to be our team. So if you guys have enjoyed this team building session based around Garchomp, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, it really helps out the channel, and without further ado, bye!